गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लास फाइव मैथमेटिक्स सो यू हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड योर प्रीमियर एग्जाम सो आफ्टर प्रीमियर एग्जाम द चैप्टर एरिया एंड इट्स बाउंड्री ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड बाय सुदीप सर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू discuss some problems regarding perimeter so as you know perimeter means the area the length of the boundary the length of the boundary of a figure question number 1 find the perimeter of square whose length of each side is 9 holes of 1 by 2 cm find the perimeter of square whose length of each side is 9 holes of 1 by 2 cm so as we know the perimeter of a square is what perimeter of a square we know it is 4 into side unit so this one equals to 4 into now side is what as we know square means four sides of same length so perimeter of a square equals to 4 into side unit that is 4 into 9 moles of 1 by 2 and the unit is centimeter so 4 into 9 to 18 and 1 19 by 2 centimeter now cancel 2 and 4 you will get 2 here so 19 to the 38 cm so perimeter of a square that is 4 into side unit and here side has given 9 holes of 1 by 2 cm so 4 into 9 holes of 1 by 2 cm that is 4 into 19 by 2 cm that is 38 cm now next problem find the length of side of the square whose perimeter is 56 meter that is here the reverse process in first one length of each side has given we have to find out the perimeter of square and in the second one perimeter of square has given we have to find out the length of each side so as we know the length of each side of square equals to what perimeter by 4 formula is perimeter divided by 4 unit now what is perimeter given 56 meter so 56 divided by 4 meter that is 14 meter so length of each side of square equals to perimeter divided by 4 unit that is 56 by 4 meter that is 14 meter so when perimeter has given and you are asked to find out the length of each side of a square in that case just divide the perimeter by 4 divide the perimeter by 4 then you will get the length of each side of the square now number 3 find the length of side of the square 
whose perimeter is a 20 holes are 1 by 2 cm and b 7 holes are 3 by 5 meter. So here two problems are given. In the first one, perimeter is 20 holes are 1 by 2 cm. That is, the length of the side of the square is what? Perimeter by 4 cm. That is, 41, if you convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction, so you will get 41 by 2 divided by 4 cm. That is 41 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 4. Division. As you know, how to divide a fraction by a whole quantity? The division sign will be multiplication sign and the reciprocal of the second one. So 41 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 4 equals to 41 by 8 that is 5 holes of 1 by 8 centimeter. And B, the second one, length of side of the square. Here perimeter is 7 holes of 3 by 5 meter. So 7 holes of 3 by 5 divided by 4 meter. That is 38 by 5 divided by 4 meter. That is 38 by 5 multiplied by 1 by 4. So you will get cancelled by 2. So 2 to the 4, 19 to the 38. So 19 by 10 meter. That is 1 holes of 9 by 10 meter. Now question number 4. Find the perimeter of a rectangle whose length 4 cm, breadth 2 holes of 1 by 2 cm. And number B, length 13 holes of 2 by 5 cm, breadth 7 holes of 2 by 7 cm. Here, we have to find out the perimeter of a rectangle. What is the formula? 2 into length plus breadth. So, number A, perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into length plus breadth equal unit equals to 2 into what is length? Length is 4 plus 2 holes are 1 by 2 centimeter that is 2 into 4 plus 5 by 2 centimeter that is 2 into here 2 will be the LCM 4 to the 8 plus 5 centimeter 2 to cancel which is equals to 13 centimeter. Similarly, so perimeter of the rectangle is 13 centimeter. The formula is 2 into length plus breadth. Now number B, what is the perimeter of the rectangle? So perimeter of Rectangle equals to 2 into what is length? 13 holes are 2 by 5 plus what is breadth? 7 holes are 2 by 7 centimeter. So which is equals to 2 into 67 by 5 plus 51 by 7 centimeter. 2 into 35 will be the LCM. So 35 divided by 5 that is 7. 7 into 7 469 plus 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 five are 25. So you will get 2 into 
that is 1448 by 35 so ultimately you get 1448 by 35 now if you divide you will get what you will uh, you will get Thirty-five, one four four eight divided by thirty-five. That is four one hundred forty four eight forty thirty-five ones are thirty-five. So remainder is thirteen. Remainder is thirteen. So your answer will be forty-one whose uh, thirteen by thirty-five centimeter. Forty-one whose uh, thirteen by thirty-five centimeter. So in the first case. Perimeter of rectangle is two into length plus breadth. That is ultimately we got thirteen centimeter. And in the second case, perimeter of rectangle that is forty one holds a thirteen by thirty five centimeter. Here. Length has given thirteen holes are two by five plus breadth has given seven holes are two by seven centimeter. So ultimately, by calculation, you get fourteen forty one holes are thirteen by thirty five centimeter. Now there are some problems. It is your homework. Number one, find the perimeter of a square whose length of side is number A, fifteen centimeter; number B, three holes are two by nine meter; number C, eleven holes are one by four centimeter. Number two, find the length of each side of a square whose perimeter is number A, one hundred forty-four centimeter; B. Two hundred twenty-five centimeter. C. Eighteen holes are seven by ten meter. D. Nine holes are one by two meter. Number three. Find the perimeter of a rectangle whose number A length equals to six holes are one by two centimeter. Breadth is two holes are one by three centimeter. B length eight holes are two by nine meter, breadth four holes are one by nine meter. C length twelve holes are two by five centimeter, breadth seven holes are one by three centimeter. This homework you do in your classwork copy.